Hello, I'm going to make a short video on how to add apartments in OpenStreetMap. Uh, I will show two different methods. The first one is using the OpenStreetMap website, and I have skipped ahead. I've assumed that you've gone to OpenStreetMap.org and created an account. You've zoomed in to an area that you'd like to edit and you've gone ahead and click edit. So that's where we're at now. We're on the edit screen and you can see here the roofs of three buildings. They are new apartment buildings and have not been mapped. So let's do it. So you click on the area tool up here. Uh, with this simple web-based editor you use the it's a free hand, so you just trace the edge of the building as you see it on the satellite imagery. Uh, you won't be able to necessarily get a perfect right angle uh, with this method, unless there's a, if you know how to do that with this editor, let me know in the comments. Uh, so I double clicked on the last one, and now you see it is a red uh, glowing square. And now on the left side, it says select feature type, and you can search but it also remembers the last things you've done or searched for. Uh, I could search for apartment building, but it's actually right here. So there it is. I click apartment building. And if you know any of the rest of these details, like the name of the building, the address, the height, and so on, you can add them, but you don't have to. Um, so uh, that's it. Uh, you can add more. And then as you add more, kind of like a shopping cart, you'll see a save button over here and the number will go up. Uh, the more things you add, and then you click Save. Uh, you'll be asked to add a comment. Your comment is something like, you know, adding adding apartment buildings along 3rd Street. Um, that's about all you need to do. You, uh, for your source, you can add a source which would be like aerial imagery. You're just saying that you know this is an apartment building because you looked at it uh, on the satellite view. Another source is local knowledge. You're ex essentially expressing, I know this apartment building is here because I live near here. And that's it. You click upload. Um, so that's good. Now we're going to move on to the second method, which has, takes more time to set up, but is faster and uh, more accurate if you have a bunch of them to do. So now I'm using the Java OpenStreetMap Editor, J-O-S-M. It runs on Mac, Windows, and Linux. Um, I'm skipping up ahead the steps. You have to install it and log in. Uh, it has a plug-in area, which I'm not even going to remember where that is now. Um, but under plugins, there's an option for a building plugin, and I've installed the building plugin, which helps draw buildings. Uh, and so this icon over here is for the building and my building preferences have been set to say when I draw a building please go ahead and default it to an apartment building since I'm adding a bunch of apartments in here you click and it uh, it now it you you just draw a straight line along one side and then it already assumes you want a, a rectangle uh, and so you pull it down to the rest of the side of the building. Um, and that's it. <clears throat> if you, now if you click on the building, you have to go to a different selection tool. <coughs> you will see it's already, it has a really tiny to read, but it's already been tagged as an apartment building because the building tool preferences have been set that way. Um, I did skip over. You use these download and upload buttons. So the download button, uh, that's where you select an area of that you want to download. Um, and that's the area you want to be working on. It's usually a small area. I'm going to cancel that now. And then when you're done, when you've added some apartments in the Java OpenStreetMap editor, then you can push the upload button. And it'll give you the same kind of window about putting a note in about what you changed. Uh, and you press upload. Uh, there's um, also an imagery menu, so uh, at first it might not show anything in the background, but you can choose. Uh, here I've chosen the Bing aerial imagery, so that's the background I'm using. Uh, otherwise, this 
has a lot of features, but you can ignore them and just map, uh, <laughs> just map apartments or whatever you want to map, and you can learn more about the more advanced features later. Uh, but that's it. That's two methods for adding mapping apartments in OpenStreetMap. Thanks.